Hi, it's Chrissy Key Rollins bringing you this week's recap of the 1099 Ladies online networking meeting where the focus was on effective goal setting. And here's the highlights from tonight's discussion. I love tonight's discussion because we had different uh, levels of business owners on the line, some more seasoned, some that are a little bit newer. So we brought a lot of different perspectives when it comes to effective goal setting. I highly recommend that you hop over to the 1099 Ladies Networking Facebook group and catch the full replay. And here are the highlights from tonight's conversation. First of all, we invited you to keep it simple. If goals are not simple, then you probably will not show up and follow through. And a great way to keep them simple is to remember that they can be changed. You don't have to set them in stone. You can alter them as you go along, either because you need a different time frame or maybe you're still out of alignment with that goal. But for whatever the reason, just know, keep it simple and let it be adaptable over time so that you can let go of your fear of not hitting them or um, coming up short whenever, whenever it uh, starts to unfold. Fold. Uh, we also thought, felt it was really important to keep them front and center because if they're not front and center, if they're not the forefront of your mind and the forefront of your day, then um, you probably won't follow through on them. And in order to keep them front and center, we encourage you to be true to who you are. If you're somebody who likes pen and paper and writing them down, then write them down. If you're somebody who is more into apps and doing things electronically, then embrace technology and allow that to support your goal setting. You can set timers, you can set reminders. There's lots of ways that you can keep it front and center in front of of your day. Also, uh, we made a, a, a touch on the fact that it's helpful whenever you take a big goal that you chunk it down into bite-sized pieces. So maybe you see that overall vision and then you look to see the time frame that you have and divide it down and break it down into little steps so that you can hit a little mark every step of the way and then go back and reassess as you are moving towards so that you can see where do you need to adjust? Do you need to change the timeline? Do you need to reassess your goals or are you on track and need to up them a little bit? We also felt it was very important that you remember to set some personal goals. Incorporate yourself into goal setting as well as your emotional and your ex experiential goals as well. So as you're thinking about those physical, tangible goals, also think about how you want to be feeling and how you want to be experiencing your day. And we also offered an op a challenge to, if you're not into goal setting, to start with this, to just set your mood for the day. How do you want to show up? How do you want people to feel when they interact with you? And um, another great tip is to build in incentives. Now, I am personally am not a fan of doing in order to get, but I am a fan of a balanced life. So I look to see what are those things that I love to do that aren't very productive and don't help me reach my goals, and how can I set a goal to be accomplished so that I can have the incentive of doing the thing that I also like to do that isn't quite as um, productive or goal-oriented. Uh, the last thought is to make sure that you embrace imperfect action. It's better to set a goal and miss it than to not set a goal at all. So if you think about goals just as practice or giving you something to aim towards instead of something that you have to get right or wrong, then it will help you if you're a recovering perfectionist like myself to be able to embrace that imperfect action and to take action knowing that even if you come up short, you're not really missing the mark as long as you are showing up and following through. I hope that you have found these tips to be helpful and we'd love to keep the conversation going. So please join us over at Facebook on Facebook at the 1099 Ladies Networking Group where you can catch a full replay of tonight's meeting as well as past recaps and replays from past meetings. And you can also connect with the other 1099 ladies. If you have any additional thoughts or tips to add to this conversation, drop some in the comments below and consider joining us next week and every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. We would love to connect with you. Have a great night.